in the red zone. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Lynch has got it on the handle. And Ayers is able to read that play and make the hit. Second and goal at the one. Takes it out of the eye. Kim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with a pass. And if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. Not even a foot away. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Oh, my gosh, it is the worst thing you can do on the offensive side. This drives coaches crazy. When you get down near the goal line, you run the football and you lose yards. That's just not being tough enough. That field goal should make their job a whole lot easier for the rest of this fourth quarter, Phil. Yeah, it's kind of like you and I doing the games. Everything I do, I just, I make everything easier for you, Jim. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Austin will test the coverage. it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Seahawks defense has to still be inspired about that interception they had last time out. Absolutely. They had everything going for them, I think, in that play. They had pressure. They, everybody was hustling to the football and a good play on that air and throw by the quarterback. The Rams from the 27. Wright wraps up the quarterback. Holding offense. The penalty has declined. And following that penalty, it sets up second down and 17. Foles is standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Two hands on the football and has the catch. That's his first reception today. I don't know if receivers like this route or not, the quick slant route inside because they know the defense is running their way. But that time, it's a good throw and catch and the slant route comes up just short of getting the first down. The Rams will look to get to the 37 to pick up a first down. Third and six. Stands in the pocket. And after only three plays, that incompletion brings us to fourth down. They're in punting formation. He's going to try and return this punt. Joiners, the one who brings him to the ground. And a run back of about 13. When one quarterback plays well and the other doesn't, that can lead to a pretty one-sided affair like we've had here today. Yeah, it has been one-sided. But look, there's always reasons why a quarterback plays well or doesn't, Jim. It truly is a team game on the offensive side. And the good numbers come from the offensive line that played well. And the bad numbers come from an offensive line that really struggled here today. First down at the 27. Michael out of the backfield with a reception. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. 
The Seahawks did a good job there on first down. That pass picks up some good solid yards. Now second and short. Much easier to call those kind of plays. Wilson's completion percentage, 60% on the day. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. It's a two tight end formation. Handoff. It's James Laurinaitis in on the tackle. Well, not many yards to get there on that play, but it doesn't matter what a day and what a job this running back has done, has done here. The Seahawks will take the snap from the 35. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Lynch is looking for a place to run, but there is nowhere to go. The offensive line just gets dominated. Good job by the defensive line that time. And Austin is brought down. Well, only a couple yards that time by the punt returner. Good defense by the punt coverage team. They get down their speed. They hustle. They're all around him. They only give up a couple yards. The Seahawks defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. First down at the 28. He's got a wide open alley. That's Wagner making the stop. 